Back in 2002, Marvel's famed wall crawler made a cinematic splash with Sam Raimi's Spider-Man, a huge box office success that spawned one of the biggest movie franchises of the decade. But not all of Spidey's subsequent cinematic adventures have been created equal, so we're swinging in to rank all his films thus far. The Amazing Spider-Man 2, released 2014. While The Amazing Spider-Man 2 largely balanced the romance, the superheroics, and a slew of new villains pretty well, it also killed the franchise. The film did offer yet another heartfelt performance from Andrew Garfield as Peter Parker and brought the death of Gwen Stacy to the screen, but it also got mired in a convoluted backstory involving Peter's parents. Spider-Man 3, released 2007. Despite the massive amount of dough that Sam Raimi's trilogy capper brought in at the box office, Spider-Man 3 wasn't as well received as the previous films in the series. It suffered from a sizable cast and a dance number that left some viewers irked. Still, there's some cool stuff in Spidey 3. Thomas Hayden Church as Sandman is fantastic, and the continuing thread of Harry and Peter was an emotional roller coaster that paid off here in context of the previous movies. The Amazing Spider-Man, released 2012. The Amazing Spider-Man's approach to the franchise reboot left some underwhelmed, considering it was another origin story for the wall crawler. However, Andrew Garfield's Peter Parker was perhaps the most familiar the character's ever been for comic book fans, cracking lame jokes while he battles the baddies, creating his own web shooters, the works. Coupled with Emma Stone's charming portrayal of Gwen Stacy, audiences were captivated by the romance between the two characters more than they were Spider-Man's battle against the Lizard. Spider-Man, released 2002. If Blade launched the new wave of superhero movies and X-Men made them viable, Sam Raimi's original Spider-Man launched them into the stratosphere. Despite some controversial changes to the Spider-Man mythos, like organic web shooters, fans embraced Raimi's depiction of the wall crawler as he fought his greatest nemesis, Green Goblin. The dynamic between Peter, Norman, and Harry is incredibly well played, but more importantly, Peter Parker is identifiable and his origin is handled perfectly. Captain America Civil War, released 2016. Spidey made his highly anticipated Marvel Cinematic Universe debut in this Team Cap vs. Team Iron Man epic. While Spidey isn't absolutely integral to this movie's plot, actor Tom Holland captures what makes teenager Peter Parker such a sweet, great hero and leaves the audience wanting more. Spider-Man 2, released 2004. Upon its release, Sam Raimi's Spider-Man 2 immediately became the new superhero movie by which all others would be judged, a title many would say it holds to this day. Spider-Man 2 pit the web-slinger against Dr. Octopus, who was given his own emotional journey from Peter's mentor to supervillain. The movie encompasses Spider-Man in a way no other Spidey movie has been able to, showing the character's true struggle with being a hero and being a man, inspiring hope in the city, and sacrificing his own happiness. It's a complex journey for every single character involved, and Raimi balances it all with utterly thrilling action sequences like the train fight and the great climactic battle with Doc Ock. But Spider-Man 2 also has great moments of levity that is a staple of the Spider-Man world. From any point of view, as a Spider-Man fan, a filmmaking enthusiast, a hopeless romantic, Spider-Man 2 delivers on every level. How would you rank the Spider-Man movies? Let us know in the comments, and for all your superhero news, keep it right here on IGN.